not just from the East Coast and the West Coast, but coming in from around the world. This is the O'Hare Airport. Every international city of any size that you want to deal with, you can now fly nonstop. For everyone on this airplane that lands from an international organization, an international country or city, that's worth at least a million dollars just to the airport. So when you look at the south side, lower density, the reason you're not seeing as many individual home sales is because medical technology has allowed that owner to live in place longer. So the historical trend was that by the time somebody was into their 60s or 70s, they were looking for a retirement center, they were looking for a system, they were moving in with their families, their relatives. That's been flipped around. A lot of the millennials are moving back home. Okay? So what you're seeing are properties that in some cases are being overtaxed because they were designed originally for that classic atomic family of four or five, and now we have seven or eight in that property. So there are ways you can look. You know, the auction situation, I don't have access to the multiple listing. I'm not a real estate firm, okay? I tend to look at the underlying data. But you can go to data.cityofchicago.org. Let's say it again, data.cityofchicago.org. There's a ton of files there about building footprints. You can look at the history of the building. There's the permits, providing people are actually filing permits when you do stuff. Okay. You can look at those files there. And then I bring in the census data, which allows me to look at a community or a neighborhood. There's a legal difference between the two. Okay. I can look at that and say, okay, what's going on in this zip code or this community?